Hi, Tiago here, and I'm going to show you how you can create a PQR inside of Wild Cloud Notes. Mainly, there are two ways that you can do this. One of which is you click on the PWPS uh, menu and you open up a PWPS that you've created beforehand and you click on Create PQR from this Create Qualification button. This will prompt you to introduce some details and uh, it will uh, automatically calculate the ranges for this PQR. Um, the other option is to come to the PQR menu and click on uh, Add New PQR, which is what I'm going to do in this video. So let's say PQR Demo Video 001. And it's going to be an ASME Section 9 with impact tests. So let's say IT001. Um, so what happens is you are now going to be able to introduce some uh, information here. You can work with PQRs that you qualify with a third party by attaching it here in the PDF attachment, or you can generate our own uh, with this button right here. So I'm going to select the company ESUB, uh, and let's say it's going to be a groove weld. It's going to be a butt joint, pi a pipe. You just come here to the interface and you introduce the details of the PQR that you might have on your paper or that you're just starting out to qualify right now. So it's going to be manual and semi-automatic. It's going to be all on 6G uphill. This qualifies this for all the positions. Uh, transfer mode will be spray. And let's say it could be DC minus DC plus. And I'm going to introduce an interpass temperature of 250 degrees Celsius. You can see the approval range is calculated on the rightmost section. Um, I'm going to select an uh, 304L uh, steel. And it's going to be 12 millimeters thick. Also 12 millimeter, millimeters deposited thickness. And 323 three diameter millimeters. Uh, so the each each section is going to be three millimeters and nine millimeters for the GMAW part, and it's going to be grinding and machining. Um, I'm selecting the groove design. Uh, you can select the ones we have here. You can upload your own sketches or you can create them from scratch if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to select this. I could also make some modifications here um, specific to this WPS. But for now, I'm going to select this and Notes automatically selects the most compatible one. But otherwise, you'll be able to choose a different one if you like. So 35 to 40, 1 to 2, 1 to 2, and... Let's go here. Uh, filler material is going to be an ER-308L. Um, and I could select a commercial designation. Um, and you could uh, also select a 2.4 diameter. Uh, and I'm going to go another ER-308L. And it's going to be a 1.0 in this case. Uh, you select also the gases. So let's say SGA for the for the tick part, and it's going to be a hundred percent argon. Yeah, it can be like this. Uh, so it can be twelve to fifteen flow rate. Let's go with an SGAC for uh, argon CO two. Uh, you can go with a certain commercial designation, and let's say eighteen uh, liters per minute of flow rate. Next, we go to the welding passes in which you specify uh, more details. So let's say one pass is going to be uh, 100 to 120 and 15, 12 to 15 here. And let's say uh, we're going to add like 100, uh, maybe 90 is good, and to 100 maximum. And we save. And now we have one pass. So now I'm going to do the same for the MIG part. And in this case, it's 150 to 200. It's going to be 14 to 18, and it's going to be 150 to 200. And now we have both passes. You can add more. You can specify if there are uh, multiple passes. Uh, you can do that. all of that in here. Um, there's an other section which allows you to add more information, like the weaving, the number of electrodes, and stuff like that. There's also another section highlighted here that you can add notes, you can add welders, you can add more information here. And finally, there is the tests in which you can detail all the tests that have occurred in this um, in this PQR, and you can upload their reports, which will show up in the 
a PDF that you export. And from here, there are a bunch of actions you can do. I started to export just now into a PDF. You can then delete, duplicate, or archive this PQR, but also create a WPS from this PQR. But essentially, if you uh, click here to download, you will see that it uh, generates this PQR into a uh, single PDF document that you can then use as basis for the, the creating your WPSs. And that's how you create a PQR inside of Weld Cloud Notes.